On the sports front, UTEP's football scheduled with yet another twist, and a Texas high school player faces charges of assault. Let's bring in Nate Ryan for more. Nate. Yeah, Steph, a quick sports roundup to start your 5 o'clock hour. UTEP and North Texas scheduled to meet here in El Paso next weekend in the minor season finale. That game was actually rescheduled from October 31st because North Texas refused to travel to El Paso due to the, due to the threat of COVID-19 in the region. Now over a month later, North Texas still not comfortable traveling to El Paso. So rather than not play at all, UTEP will travel to Denton, Texas next Friday to get the game in. Kickoff scheduled for 4 p.m. Mountain Time. UTEP has had four games canceled so far this season, including both last weekend at Rice and this weekend for Southern Mississippi. North Texas now did just host Louisiana Tech last night in Denton. Mean Green took a 42-31 loss. That, as I mentioned, the last game scheduled for UTEP on this season. And updating a story I brought to you last night from the Rio Grande Valley, a Texas high school football player is facing charges after charging the field and assaulting a referee. Emmanuel Duran of Edinburgh High School has been charged with Class A assault. The viral video last night of Duran body slamming a referee during Edinburgh's game against Far High School in the aftermath. Edinburgh announced they will forfeit their spot in the state playoffs, all a result of actions of one player. Duran is 18 years old, so old enough to be charged. He posted a $10,000 bond earlier today. Edinburgh players were protesting their forfeiture earlier today. So clearly a lot moving in the high school and college front uh, in the state of Texas. Adrian Ochoa will have a look more at that in sports coming up at 6 p.m. We've got the Borderland Blitz as well tonight coming up at 10 p.m. All right, Nate.